Hello everyone, Michael Roberts here, and you guys are in on the Pinkaching early release beta product, which is really exciting. Uh, quite a few of you actually snuck in this round, um, and I'm really excited. Together, we can really shape this tool and build it into the ultimate SEO software. Now, since you guys are here so early, uh, right now we're preparing to launch more of our infrastructure. Uh, we're launching, uh, as you can see, a new brand um, and a new uh, website, web theme, video training, um, it enhanced support. Uh, we're adding training more support people, and we're even working towards getting you guys uh, live chat support. But until we can launch the infrastructure for another week or two, um, we're only going to have this one training video. And in this training video, I want to walk you guys through some of the more important features and kind of highlight uh, the things I think you, you might miss otherwise. Now, since you guys are in on this early beta product, I'm quite sure you're all uh, very savvy, very smart, um, that you, you, you snuck in here. So I think you guys will be able to manage. It's a very user-friendly and easy-to-understand software. So let's get started. When you first launch into the software, you're going to use your same username and password as you did with TrafficBug. And then it'll take you to the dashboard. On the dashboard, you have some basic links, such as the blog, uh, the training library, contact us, and join our affiliate program. Right now these resources don't really work, uh, but they will within the week. We're, uh, as I said, uploading the training videos uh, and, and launching an affiliate program as well. But uh, over here, this is important, this is what's new. So as soon as you log in, you can see some of the things uh, that we've recently accomplished. So you can just get a real brief overview of what some of the new features are in the software. And at any time, you can also see uh, exactly what we're working on. Uh, we make it very transparent on what features we're adding, what bugs we're fixing, um, and everything uh, like that will be listed in this box. But really what you guys want to do is go over to your Manage Projects page. Now, uh, you have some training text in here uh, that kind of just helps you, uh, remind you of what you should be doing in this area. But here's a feature you might not notice. If you go on over to this little up arrow and click it, it blows up the whole page, uh, and that way you're able to see every single project uh, more clearly rather than running it on small screen. Now, when you guys port it over your traffic bug accounts, you'll probably have uh, quite a few projects already. These are some of just my sample uh, projects. And if you don't have a project, uh, all a project is is it's like creating a folder. So anytime you have a, a new niche you're going after, whether it be uh, fitness um, or something totally different like Nintendo Wii Golf, what you're going to do is anytime you have something completely different, a completely different niche, <clears throat> you're going to want to create that create new project button and run through that setup. And it's real important you run through the setup because it sets all the default information. So when you set up your directories here, um, your categories here, then every time you add a URL it's going to pull that information in. So once you have a project, you simply just click and go into that project. We'll, we'll go into Nintendo Wii Golf as a demo. You can cl double click it or you can click it once and click View Project. Now you're in the Nintendo Wii Golf project, which you can see right here. It lets you know which project. And again, you can blow up the feature right here. Now you can add a new URL anytime you have a new blog post, Squidoo Lens, or anything that has to do with this niche. Now here's a really unique feature Pinkaching has that traffic bug didn't. When you paste in your URL, this button appears, and you're going to click Fetch Metadata. Now the software will take a second and all of a sudden it will fetch all that information, your title, description, keywords, and even your RSS URL. Now you can't actually make any edits in this area, so if you want to start ch making changes, you're going to have to click the Save button, and then you can just go to those pages individually and make any small changes. So that is a very easy feature that uh, is way beyond uh, the power of traffic bug. This has literally taken the long submission form and brought it down into just a few seconds. 
Only one title and one description is required, unlike Traffic Bug where you had to have multiples. Now with Ping Kaching, uh, we do still recommend you doing multiple titles and descriptions if you plan on doing a lot of submissions. Uh, usually when you do a root URL such as www.nintendowegolf.com and you're planning on doing uh, full social bookmarking, full RSS, uh, and even directory submissions and search engine submissions, it's a good idea to really vary your titles and uh, descriptions to really um, broaden your footprint so you're not just creating a bunch of duplicate content as that's really going to work against you. But if you plan on just doing a new blog post, you want to do a couple social bookmarking to get an index, get some traffic, it's really not going to hurt you too much to have single titles, single descriptions. Now when you're doing this feature, uh, I don't want you to panic if when you create a new URL and uh, when you enter this URL, sorry I can't talk and type at the same time, and you hit uh, fetch metadata and no description and no keywords appear. Uh, this is nothing that the software is doing wrong. Uh, what happens there is the URL actually doesn't have a meta description or meta keywords, and in some cases not even a meta title. You really should be focusing on having all three, meta title, meta description, and meta keywords on your website. Now we recommend using the all-in-one SEO pack uh, to really make sure that you guys are, are doing the best on-page SEO that you can be. In the future, Pinkaching will be releasing its own WordPress plugins, uh, which will help you with metadata as well. Once you've filled out the forms and created um, your new URL, you simply click it and go to Submission Options. Now this is where you have a lot of power. From this page you can launch your social bookmarking, RSS submission, directory submission, search engine submission, uh, and all of these features here. You simply click on a feature and this list is going to load. Now mine actually isn't loading right now because uh, I'm actually running an offline mode. But but uh, when you click these buttons, they're just going to show you direct lists and you'll be able to uncheck all or check all or even customize and custom tailor these lists and hit submit. So it's going to be really nice for you guys and you can bounce around between the different submissions right up here, RSS directories. So you can just hop between all of them right up there. Before you guys go ahead and get started on using Pinkaching, the most important difference between Pinkaching and Traffic Bug, <clears throat> and really Pinkaching and most all other softwares that do submissions like this, is Pinkaching submits to your own accounts, accounts you own. Now the problem with uh, other softwares out there is they submit to their own pool of accounts. Now as those accounts start becoming uh, dubbed as spam from the search engines, seeing that they have dozens and dozens and if not thousands of submissions made to them is you lose that backlink over time. But with Ping Kaching you own your backlink and also means you can build page rank to your social profiles which means your backlinks carry a lot more weight and authority and you're going to see indexing, uh, indexing times increase as well. So before you get started with Ping Kaching, go on over to the settings page and click SBRSS accounts. From here you're just going to click this drop down list and you'll select the site you want and then once you select the site you hit add new and then you're going to enter in your credentials for that site. And then once you've entered in is all the many sites you want to submit to, you can then go back to your manage projects, enter in a URL and it's the software is ready to go. It may take you guys about 10 minutes or so to set up all of your accounts if you don't have them already. But this is probably the most important 10 minutes you can spend in SEO. There's not much you can do in 10 minutes that will make this big of a difference. It's very hard to write a very good, rich content article in 10 minutes. Um, it's very hard to make a ton of meaningful uh, blog comments in 10 minutes. But this 10 minutes you spend just once setting up these accounts is going to allow you to submit multiple uh, uh, websites and URLs to them, and it's going to really benefit you. Right now in Pinkaching, we don't have the ability for you to run multiple 
uh, of the same accounts. So you can't have multiple dig accounts and multiple multiple Yahoo bookmarks accounts. But it's actually not that bad of a thing because if you have an account and you only submit the same website to it over and over, it's going to look more spammy than if you distributed the different amount of links going into that account. It doesn't look bad if you have uh, different tech sites all being submitted to the same dig account. In fact, that's actually going to help you. So we are working on allowing you guys to have multiple accounts, and I hope to have that rolled out for you in the next two weeks. Uh, but until then, we're just setting up your primary accounts to do submissions to. Now this is the Pinkaching video tutorial. I hope I covered everything I think that is important for you guys to know right off the bat. Uh, we will have more video training, <clears throat> more in-depth support, uh, and a lot more for you guys uh, in SEO help and all sorts of things rolling out in the next few weeks as we improve our infrastructure. We thank you for giving us uh, 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 your feedback. We really do appreciate that. You guys are really helping us form Pinkaching. We really value uh, your thoughts, your ideas, your bugs that you run into, um, all of those things. Now, Pinkaching is running about a three times bigger code team than Traffic Bug ever did, so we are able to make changes at an enormously fast pace. So uh, I'm very excited. Uh, each week we make monumental steps forward and I'm excited to uh, make those steps forward with you guys. I appreciate your support um, and uh, go on over and uh, go to the Pinkaching um, Facebook page. Uh, click the like button and then join the discussion tabs. Uh, we have a Q&A and what new features to add. We'll be adding some more topics um, to help you guys out there. But the primary place to go for support if you're having major issues is traffic, uh, I'm sorry, is support at traffic-bug.com. We're still uh, running through the support team there and they're cross-trained on Pinkaching. So they're going to take good care of you guys. Um, and remember, a lot of the problems we've seen with uh, alpha testers who used the software was they had a lot of trouble with the software at first and it was really 99% uh, their fault that they they set up the um, usernames and passwords wrong in the settings page so just remember that also when you create an account some accounts uh, I believe um, mix and slash dot and maybe uh, others after you create the account, it takes 24 hours before you can actually make any submissions to them. Um, and several accounts, four or five of them, um, actually require confirmation links to be clicked in your email. So when you create these accounts, uh, definitely make sure you, you take the time to create them correctly. Check your emails, uh, click confirmation emails. Um, and another really important and last tip is when you create your Google Bookmark account, uh, create a new list, a new folder in your bookmarking account and label it public. And you want to do this with all your social bookmarking sites. Uh, if there's any such option um, as public or private, you want to make sure it's set to public. There's not very many. I believe uh, Google Bookmarks, um, possibly Yahoo Bookmarks as well, that, and Yahoo Buzz. They allow you to set to private or public. If it's set to private, it's not going to get indexed or found by the search engines. You want to make sure these things are set to public. And with Google Bookmarks, Google Bookmarks, it's a, uh, it's a special condition that you actually have to enter the name of the folder you created. So we recommend you name your folder public folder, and then just copy that name and paste it exactly like you did in Google Bookmarks, uh, even down to the caps or not, that makes a difference. So if you if you run into some some errors when you first do the submissions, just double check your username and passwords. Uh, if you're running into error with Google Bookmarks, make sure you picked the same exact uh, name for the folder the software should be submitting to. I'm really excited for you guys to try this out. It's a very very powerful very effective software. We're only moving uh, forward at enormous rates and uh, we, we appreciate you guys beta testing this uh, and, and helping us improve it. Thank you very much and uh, more training videos to come over the next two weeks.